So while I was installing my airlift, I noticed that I had two leaky cartridges uh, from the manifold and this was a brand new kit, so I wasn't too happy about that. But I went ahead, ordered six new ones. I'm gonna replace them all. I found an easy way to do it, so I'm just gonna show you because it was a little bit difficult on the first one and now I've got the hang of it. So hopefully this will help you guys. So you get a smaller flathead in between the brass and the manifold, just gently tap. until you get a little bit of an opening. And it's easier to do with your manifold clamped upside down so that you have more room to pry backwards. Then you switch to a bigger flathead and you're gonna hammer more of an angle. And as you tap, just slowly push the screwdriver away from yourself. slowly open up until it just pops out. Next, you're going to get needle nose pliers, pull out the inside, and then you're left with the plastic sleeve and one of these uh, rings right here, which has a slit. So you're going to find where the slit is and then try and pry it out with your screwdriver. Mm -hmm. Now that you have the ring out, you're going to get a tiny flathead and kind of just bend the brass and the plastic a little bit enough so that you can grab it with your needle nose now you have the brass out and all that's left is the plastic sleeve which you can either get with needle nose pliers or just a flat head and it should slide right out like that so to put your new cartridges in um, if you have 3 8 lines then you'll want to use a 16 mil socket to just slide over the plastic so that you're actually hammering on the metal. You don't want to break this piece. And you'll just slowly tap on it. it's in and then what I've been doing just to make sure it's a good seal is put your socket over top just get a clamp and clamp down on it just so it gets pressed in nice and solid like that and that's it